Okay, uh, welcome to this lesson with Teacher Kamanga uh, in chemistry. Uh, we're going to look at a question which was extracted from my past paper, GCE paper 2 science 2019. So this is question B7. So this one is coming from uh, the topic, the periodic table. Okay, so as we are seeing, on our question there, we're saying uh, below is a skeleton diagram of the periodic table. So below is a skeleton diagram of the periodic table. So this is the skeleton diagram that you are seeing of the periodic table. Okay, so we need to understand these are groups. Okay, then these are groups. We also have some groups there up to there. So the groups ranges from group one up to group eight. So the group eight, sometimes it can also be referred to as a group zero. All right. So uh, these other horizontal lines, we call them periods. So we need to understand that there are also some periods there. Okay. So that is how the periodic table most street is arranged. And in most cases, it contains about 100, uh, 105 elements that occur naturally on the F's class. And also there are some other elements which are just man-made and were named after some names of the people who made them and also uh, maybe some names of the countries which were uh, discovered from. Okay. Now what we need to understand is that this skeleton that we are seeing, we have some parts that are a major of uh, interest to us as we are answering this question. The reason of why we are saying we have some parts is because we want to understand those parts because that is where the questions might come from. So we have group 1, uh, which are also known as alkali metals. We have group 2, which are known as alkali earth metals. We have this X, this is where the transition elements are. We have group 3, then also we have group 8 where we can find the noble gases or the inert gases, meaning that uh, these elements, they are stable. They are called inert. They are stable. Then they, they do not even need to react to any other uh, element. So they do not uh, even undergo any chemical reaction. Okay. So the first question that we are seeing here is saying, um, give name of the region marked X on the periodic table. So the name of the region marked X on the periodic table like I've mentioned, is transition elements. Transition elements. Okay, so elements. So that is the transition elements, this part. It contains the transition elements. So most of the transition elements, they have uh, variable valences and also they have variable oxidation states, uh, including they have the high melting point, high boiling point, they also have high densities, okay? So those are just some of the chemical properties of uh, uh, the same. All right. Now, let's proceed to uh, our, our our question. We come to the B part. We are saying give any two general properties of uh, elements found in the region marked X. So the general properties, like I've mentioned, they have a um, high uh, boiling point, high boiling point, and also high melting point. Okay, we need to understand that. That is the first one. And the second one, we can say they have high densities. High densities, okay. Okay, high densities also, it is another general property. All right, we come to see, we're saying state any two uses of uh, the element found in the region marked S. So the uses is uh, number one, uh, these elements, most of them, um, they are used uh, as catalyst. So that is the first use they are used as the catalyst so the reason is very simple because most of them uh, they are able to have advantages in terms of uh, to speed up some of the reactions then also another one is that uh, these uh, transition elements they are used also in uh, uh, electrical cables uh, most of them they are good conductor for example if you are talking about copper okay that is a very good example so we have our number one we have said they are used uh, 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 as catalyst number two who have said uh, they are used uh, in making electrical cables okay so this is how simple we could have answered this question i hope you uh, un un uh, understand and look for more questions that are more like this one so that you can be able to advance your understanding on the periodic table so this has been chakamanga with you thank you